Hey everybody, welcome back to Daily Dictation 20, DD20, but first, let's check DD19, the story about the grandfather who survived a car accident. Mmm, it was a little difficult. Let's listen one more time. A 67-year-old grandpa has been found alive after being stuck for six days at the bottom of a ravine. Yes, there are some difficult words. Let's look at it. A 67-year-old grandpa has been found alive. Whew, that's good. After being stuck for six days, oh my God, at the bottom of a ravine. Oh no, that's really scary news. This word you might not know. Let's go to the top. A 67-year-old grandpa. Grandpa. A 67-year-old, 67-year. When we have this seven-year, connect the end sound. Seven-year, seven-year-old. Grandpa. Grandfather. The typical shortened version. We don't say grandfather. We say grandpa. But when we say it quickly, or when we say it normally, this N cancels the D, and we say grandpa. Grandpa. A 67-year-old grandpa has been. And for American English, we don't say been. We say been. Has been. Has been found alive. Wow. So this grandfather was missing. Where is he? Where is he? We don't know. But finally, they found him alive. Is he dead? He's 67 years old. He might have died. He was driving. Maybe there was an accident and he died. He was missing for how long? After being stuck for six days. So after six days, he was missing for six days. But we don't say missing, we say stuck. He was stuck after being stuck. And what does stuck mean? It means to be in a place where you cannot leave. So you're in some place and you cannot leave. For example, you could be stuck in a meeting. Yes, if you work at a company and every Monday morning you have a meeting, you cannot leave the meeting, you're stuck in a meeting. Or you could be stuck in traffic. You're driving to work, but there are too many cars. The traffic is jammed. Too much traffic. You are stuck in traffic. Or maybe you're driving and there's lots of snow. And the snow is really deep and your car is tires, they just spin. And you're not going forward, you're not going back, you are stuck in snow. So this grandfather was stuck for six days. Where was he stuck? Where? At the bottom. At the bottom of a ravine. What is a ravine? Well, how much space do I have? I got lots of space. Well, here's a, a mountain, okay, this is a mountain, there's a, a, a road on the mountain, and then next to the mountain, there's a cliff, and down here, there's a river, okay? So this is a river, and then the mountain goes up again like this, okay? So this is the mountain. So on this side of the mountain, there's a road. There was a road here, and the grandfather was driving on the road, I'll make a car, so he's driving, na, 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 na. but there was an accident and his car fell down the ravine over 60 meters, over 200 feet, and it crashed. And this ravine is so deep, it's so sharp down, sharp, it's a, it's a downward, very sharp angle that nobody can see. So they're looking, but they can't see the car. And he was stuck for six days. But somehow, 
They found him alive. And he's okay. The tragedy, there was another car next to his car. And inside that car, there was a grandpa too. But he died. So this guy's really lucky. Who found him? Not the police. Not rescue dogs. But his family. His family did not give up. They kept looking and looking and looking. And every time they came to a cliff, to where there was a ravine, they would call out, Dad! Dad! And finally they heard him. Yeah, I'm here. Wow. And they found him. So it's a really scary story, but a happy ending for this man. A 67-year-old grandpa has been found alive, has been found alive after being stuck, after being stuck for six days. Now, for, when we say it quickly, it sounds almost like fur. So we can make F-U-R. It sounds like her, but fur. Stuck for six days, six days, and connect the sound at the bottom. At the bottom. American pronunciation, bottom. Bottom of a, connect, connect, bottom of a ravine. 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 Okay? Check your dictionary for your uh, definition of that word. Once again, this is a ravine. <laughs> scary. At the bottom of a ravine, there's usually a river or a stream. All right, let's say it together. A 67-year-old grandpa has been found alive after being stuck for six days at the bottom of a ravine. I'll say it quickly. A 67-year-old grandpa has been found alive after being stuck for six days at the bottom of a ravine. Now let's listen to the reporter and you guys try and say it along with the reporter. Good luck. A 67-year-old grandpa has been found alive after being stuck for six days at the bottom of a ravine. A 67-year-old grandpa has been found alive after being stuck for six days at the bottom of a ravine. Okay, our next story is also from the news. And this is also about an accident. This accident involves a plane and a Ferris wheel. So here's a picture of a Ferris wheel. Jen. It's nice. That's a Ferris wheel and a plane. Now it's a small plane. It's called an ultralight plane. Ultralight plane. It's a very small plane. This plane and this Ferris wheel had an accident. But everybody was okay. Thank God. So this is a longer story, a little bit longer. Do your best, and I'll give you the answers next time. Good luck! Saturday, an ultralight plane crashed into a Ferris wheel at a rural festival in Australia, yet somehow no one on the amusement ride nor the plane was hurt. Saturday, an ultralight plane crashed into a Ferris wheel at a rural festival in Australia, yet somehow no one on the amusement ride nor the plane was hurt. Saturday, an ultralight plane crashed into a Ferris wheel at a rural festival in Australia, yet somehow no one on the amusement ride nor the plane was hurt. Saturday, an ultralight plane crashed into a Ferris wheel at a rural festival in Australia, yet somehow no one on the amusement ride nor the plane was hurt.